Now we want to be today for you back for another exciting deck review. Today we're looking at the Whiskey Chapter 1 from Curious Cask. It does Curious Cask on the front on this collector's box. It's embossed or debossed, I guess. And it's just a yellow case. A little bit of damage on it. I've heard some parent complaints about damage on the product and I can show you that yes, I definitely have damage on mine. We open it up and inside it here says refined stories boldly told. Three different decks. <coughs> we'll look at uh, there is the neat in red on the rocks in yellow and the water in blue. <coughs> All of them are printed by Legends playing cards. Uh, different suits represent different uh, areas. You got the spades, which represent North America, the hearts, which represent Ireland, the clubs, which represent Scotland, and the diamonds, which represent Japan. Soy, UK, or uh, Soy, England, you're not invited. <laughs> Just the Scottish and the Iris. Anyways, uh, it's completely custom artwork, but all three decks feature the same artwork, which is a bit unfortunate. <clears throat> um, and it's basically a playable guide to whiskey tasting. On the rocks is the classic whiskey gold. Neat is a classic deck in red. And the water is a Kickstarter exclusive with holographic foil. There is also a very limited edition, the barrel, which is a brown colored one. Which unfortunately, they didn't send me, but is uh, pretty limited, very expensive, I think. And it had brown gold, it was brown with, I think, gold foil. I believe I wrote down it was $98 Canadian for that plus the yellow deck. Two decks for $98 Canadian. Yikes. <laughs> so I didn't get that even though it's like a couple hundred. It's pretty limited. Too limited, too expensive. Let's look at the cards though. Uh, this one and and this one have a nice soft touch stock. It's a little too soft to my liking perhaps. Just a feeling feels weird in my hand. And it says... Explore whiskey by traveling the four regions. Chapter one whiskey on the rocks, curious cask. And there is some embossing. And also some UV spot ink. So you have friends and all of them. And this one, of course, has holographic foil in gold. On the sides, it says, best enjoyed with a choice dram, whatever dram means. <laughs> best shared with friends and rivals. The top says whiskey, which is embossed. There's no embossing on the foil one, just foil. And no UV ink either. You can see the UV ink. And the bottom, some ad copy. Created for whiskey connoisseurs, sleight of hand artists, and card players, made by legends. And then the back, so you the back design, which is a very simple design. It's just a double C for Curious Cask repeating. The seal, custom seal with the Curious Cask logo, it says Chapter One by Curious Cask. Um, I should mention this one and this one. Have the same Panton inks, Euro Black Core stocks, Casino Grade Finis or Casino Grade decks with um, ink cured with ultra, ultra Violet Light, as I mentioned, the UV ink, pre crust classic Finis diamond slash traditional cut with soft touch tuck cases and emboss, clear spot UV, and interior print which is on all the decks. This one does not have all that stuff. Instead, it just has the holographic foil on the tuck case and on the cards, 
but the rest is the same fittest and this one has Panton inks on the tuck so some similarities some differences on the flaps it says Uski and B5 probably but to that but that is the creators designers and here it says curious cask refined stories boldly told you get one ad card it says distilled chapter one whiskey curious cask refined stories boldly told curiouscast.com link in the description and a little information on this side as well the jokers Look like that. There's a Chester hat, a whiskey glass that's been spilled, and something. And it says here, token of course, it says a tasting process. Number one, identify to the color. Two, ease in with the nose. Three, save it with your mouth. Four, discern the fittest. And they're both identical pretty interesting this one the ace of spades represents north american canadian blended whiskey it's a spicy eye flavors spicy rye flavors and i smooth and light with spicy rye flavors and it has a glass in there in the pip with the repeating logo and then at the bottom it says spades the suit i hate that it's upside down it just makes no sense it's kind of dumb in my opinion and I would recommend in the future not doing that. This is the Iris Blended Whiskey, a curation of smooth, mellow, and silky flavors. Scottish Highland Whiskey. No, I can't speak Scottish. <laughs> uh, a diversity of the lighter flavors through salty coastal malts. And lastly, Japan Blended Whiskey. Creating new depth and balanced expressions. I don't like the upside down writing. Let me, let me just say that. <laughs> really frustrating to try and read it when it's upside down. Uh, so we get nice custom court cards. This one is rye whiskey. This is North American. Wheat whiskey. And it says here smooth character within. But then upside down, it says something else, hints of cinnamon and nuts. And it says on this one stuff as well. I'm not going to get into that. And this one is bourbon whiskey. Then we go into the next suit, which was the Iris. Pot still whiskey. Single grain. And single malt. And the clubs, which was Scottish, the Scottish mates got the Lowland whiskey. That's how we spell whiskey in Canada as well, generally, or sometimes. <laughs> um, Space side whiskey, whatever that means, and Islay whiskey. I did the Japan with splendid malt. Blended malt, not splendid. <laughs> I can't read. Single grain, and lastly, single malt. The number cards, nice custom pips, but fairly straightforward. Nice custom artwork, and like I mentioned, it's a nice classic finish with a diamond slash traditional cut. It's pre crust. Casino grade, black core, European stock, Pantone inks. It's pretty nice. And there's the back design. Just that repeating pattern. Very evinced. On the yellow. I'll show you the other ones briefly. You get the same on the inside. If I didn't mention a repeating pattern on the inside with the same symbol. You get the same cards. And everything else is exactly the same. They didn't change the colors or anything, which is disappointing. There goes my card. And the back design is the same, except red. And 
lastly, let's look at the hollow foil deck. Get some holographic foil on the flap. And, but not on the inside, I can tell. And then the cards, they're exactly the same. The faces and the artwork. No hollow foil on the faces, which is disappointing. Um, and again, to the backs, there is hollow foil. It's very nice. Overall, I think they're really nice decks. Uh, I assume there will be a chapter two at some point in time, maybe chapter three, who knows? I would like to see maybe more in terms of the back design. The artwork on the court cards is very nice and everything else. However, I dislike all the upside down writing. Make it so we can read it without having to rotate the cards. Especially the aces, that's just kind of bizarre. But overall, pretty nice to handle, pretty good. I will give them an A minus. So that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And safe drinking. No drinking and driving stuff like that. And we'll see you next time. More. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and share.